579, we've got the 12K break. Limited Verana Red for the Caps. McKinnon's injured. Oh, God. I hope not big injury. And a moment for the Habs of Carey Price. So. Uh, Devin, probably around 10.30. Again, I'm not going to be too crazy on it has to be 10.30 exactly. It's just that we just don't want three, four, five breaks uh, carrying on type thing. Nine, five young guns of Lagasse. So roughly around 10.30. Again, 10.30 is roughly our cutoff. But obviously if it breaks at three left and it's 10.30, I will give a final, hey guys, if we want to get it going, let's get it going. I'm not going to be like, oh, it's 10.30. Sorry, that one left. We, we must go. We've got a nine, five young guns for the Flyers. Sean Couturier. Uh, if 596 was open, it wouldn't be on the group break page. I, I can't remember which one that is. So if you see it on the group break page, it has not been done. Because in the past breaks, it's been done. And a graded nine green rookie, Philip Heedle for the Rangers. Heedle for the Rangers. All right. So anyone who does not know about that, uh, going forward, by the way, if it's in the current group breaks, that means I have not done it. If it's in past group breaks, that means it has been done. So just hopefully a little easier for you guys to remember down the road. And that's Platinum? No, that one has not been open. We've got a Red of Taze for the Hawks. We've got a Hayden Flurry, Carolina Hurricanes Blue Rookie. And an Exceptional Town of Mick David for the Oilers. Uh, probably an Eichel Platinum buyback auto out of five. Rookie auto. John Gillies red rookie for Calgary. We got a Jake DeBrusque for the Boston Bruins. Blue rookie. And an impact players of Keller for the Coyotes. We've got a Nashville Predators, Ryan Johansson. Red. For the Penguins, Mario Lemieux, green. And we got a career spanning of Mario Lemieux for the Penguins. Islanders, John Tavares, red base. We've got a... And I apologize, guys, I'm kind of colorblind, so I might need your help on this one. I don't know if this is a purple one, because purples are very rare. Travis Sanheim. Is that purple? I do apologize, guys. Some colors just don't mesh with my eyes. I feel like it looks like a slightly different tinge, but I'm not the greatest of these. So, I'm going to say that's purple, but I'm not too sure. Impact players of Carlson for the Sens. <laughs> Bless me. Capitals, Backstrom. Um, Brandon, Tampa Bay Lightning, Stephen Samkos, Blue. I will give you, if you can ask that question after, I'll give you a quick explanation on a few things. Panarin, green for the jackets. It is purple, beautiful, thank you guys. So I apologize, sometimes the blues, the purples, those kind of hues are not the greatest for me. Fisher for the Coyotes, red. Red rookie. We've got a blue for the Preds of Subban. But Brandon asked me that after, so I can just give you a little more in-depth answer. Exceptional talent of Sveshnikov. For the Red Wings. I do have answer for that. But there's also reasons why, and that's what I want to explain. We've got Ottawa Senators, Logan Brown Red. We've got a Martin Nikas. Nikas for the Carolina Hurricanes. Blue. And a career spanning of Hashik. Hawks and Wings. We've got a Colin White Red for the Ottawa Senators. Vancouver Canucks, Pavel Bure. Blue. And an impact players of Matthews for the Leafs. Damn decoys. I'm allergic to decoys. Yes, 
11 points this weekend. The funny thing is, though, Kyle, is anyone honestly surprised? Like, no BS. Is anyone surprised about that? Marky Rookie for the Leafs of Sandine. Portraits Rookies of Timmins for the Avalanche. Uh, are you talking about, like, his actual on-play, Shane, or are you talking about, like, like, hockey cards? Young Guns for the Oilers of Joel Person for the Oilers. Canvas of Jonathan Quick for the LA Kings. Just so I can answer that question appropriately for you. Portraits Rookies for the Blues of Mackenzie McEachern. Card wise, um, I don't know. I would say a poor investment. I do not think it's going to go up. Bennington for the Blues. The thing is with certain guys that I've noticed is when they move on, unless they're like upper, upper echelon talent, unless, when they move on and their team is, if they win. So if Tavares wins in the Leaf, his Leaf stuff I think will have a bump. Nikolai Prokorkran, Young Guns for the Kings. But I don't know if his rookies will have a crazy bump because he's not on the Maple Leaf team then. Uh, is it worth it? If he's really good, yes. Jack Hughes, marquee rookies for the Devils. I think for the value of a box of those, because aren't they like 30 bucks or something? I think that's not a bad investment. Pretty good. Jack Hughes, glossy for the Devils. Victor Olafson for the Buffalo Sabres, glossy. And a Kirby Doc for the Hawks. Like, even for me, honestly, um, Shane is like, I'm I'm not that inclined to buy Tavares rookie stuff because he's an Islander. But I absolutely, if he was if he was a Leaf, I absolutely would have bought his stuff because he's a Leaf. So I don't mind having Leaf cards of rookies, but I don't really care. Like, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but like, if Matthews was not drafted by Toronto... And then came to Toronto two years later. I wouldn't be after his, you know, Columbus Blue Jackets rookies. That's just me, though. We've got a four ninety nine Yanni Kokinen for the Carolina Hurricanes. Doesn't mean they're not going to go spike up. I just, it just to me, it's just not the same. Twelve ninety nine of Aya Follow for the LA Kings. We've got an exquisite rookie, Anders Bjork. Boston Bruins, exquisite rookie, Anders Bjork, 275. Sub Zero of Derek Stepan for the Coyotes. It would spike if he won. Yes, I agree with that. For the Golden Knights, we've got a rookie, auto exquisite, Alex Tuck. What I'm though saying though is I don't know if it would spike Brennan. A ton, or sorry, if it would spike as much as SB started on the Leafs. Like, I think if like Matthews, Marner, Nylander stuff would probably spike more. Twelve ninety nine of Milano for the Canucks. My personal opinion. I, I like. I think Nylander would probably spike more because if the Leaf rookie won on the Leaf team, I think that's just a win win, right? But you are right. No matter what, it will spike. You are correct. It would spike no matter what. It just, I don't know if it would spike as much. Oh, yeah. It should definitely spike for Crawford. Like, I, I couldn't see his. If he has a good playoffs, his young guns will definitely go up. It's just, I think Matthews, Marner, Nylander's young guns will go up more. Comparatively. We've got an Essentials of Manta for the Red Wings. Yarn croak for the Preds. But going back to also with uh, investment, here's the th thing, Shane. Moment of Bennington for the Blues. I feel there's certain markets, Toronto being one of them, Montreal being another, that if you win, that is an amazing investment. Matthew Kachuk for the Calgary Flames, Red. But if you don't win, it's kind of a disappointment. Adam Brooks. 
Young Guns for the Leafs. Like, if, for example, Montreal wins the Cup in three years and Nick Suzuki's on that team, his rookies are going to go ballistic. Moments of Tuka Rask, Boston Bruins, presuming he's still putting up good numbers. But if Suzuki gets going to Columbus, you know, or another team, Dubnik for the Wild, all-star update. I, I think, it, you know, and Montreal wins the Cup. It does nothing for him, right? Kemper for the Coyotes. So, I think it's a different animal if any team win the Cup and they're a rookie. Spectrum of Ram Pitlick for the Preds. Like, I would be curious if McDavid ever went to a junk team. Gensel for the Penguins. And I mean junk loosely in terms of hobby junk. Future Watch Auto. Dominic Kubalik for the Hawks. Like, I legitimately, I know, I don't think it would ever happen. But, like, I would be legitimately curious to see what happened if McDavid ever went to, like, like uh, like Minnesota, like that would be so interesting to see. Like, would his card still be as valued? Would people still be willing to pay record money for his rookies? Matt Murray for the Penguins Essentials. I think there's certain teams he could go to that it wouldn't really hurt him. Moments, long fist for the Rangers. I think any original six, pretty much. To Foley for the Vancouver Canucks. But I think that could be said with pretty much any major name. We've got a future watch auto for the Habs, Ryan Paling. Gretzky rookie did okay. But I also feel Gretzky did most of his stuff with Edmonton, though, to be fair, Adam, right? So, like, he, he cemented his legacy. Like, if, if McDavid next year went to Minnesota, do you honestly think his rookies don't take a bit of a hit or a big hit? Panarin for the Rangers. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. What do you guys think? Spectrum of Larkin for the Red Wings. And a Dylan Strom red for the Hawks. People pay for the goats, yeah. Now, here's the thing, though, Adam. If McDavid never won a cup in Minnesota, would they still pay for him that much? Like, I'm not saying he's going to go down to zero, but I'm saying, do you think if he never won a cup with Minnesota? So I'm presuming he doesn't go the Gretzky route or anyone else. If he does not win a cup, do people still pay big money? Young Guns Canvas, which will be random between Dallas and Toronto. J, uh, yeah, Jason and Nick Robertson. Jason and Nick Robertson. It would go up in that area, Fergie, but I feel like all the Edmonton people might just dump, right? Like, I do feel like if Toronto went, to, or Toronto, if Matthews went to Arizona... I think a lot of Matthews guys would literally just sell. And I don't think there's enough Arizona collectors to offset the Toronto Maple Leaf collectors. We've got a blank. Shane Bowers, Young Guns for the Avalanche. Like, I think you also have to look at the market value, or like market... In general, right? Hellebuck for the Jets. Like a guy like Nick Suzuki, Montreal people are already nuts. So you add a big player on Montreal, there's just way more people willing to buy it. Nick Suzuki goes on like Minnesota, there's not as much of a fan base to buy Nick Suzuki. Oh, Matthews would, he would definitely, if he went to Winnipeg or Shen for the Blues or went to like Columbus, he definitely would not have been worth that much. But neither would have McDavid if he went to, like, a different team, too. Coughlin for the Vegas Golden Knights. Rookie. Anna Bennington for the Blues. Dazzlers. If anyone uh, tries to tell you that teams don't matter, they absolutely massively do. 
Velarde Glossy Rookies for the LA Kings. We've got a Jake Evans for the Habs, Glossy Rookie. And a Tyler Benson for the Oilers, Glossy Rookie. Like, literally, you guys know I'm a Leaf fan, so I don't like the Habs. But if Toronto could not get Lafreniere, I was praying it could be the Habs. And if it wasn't the Habs, I hope it's the next best available team, which Rangers probably were one of the best teams to get them, to be honest. So that was a great, great, great thing. Like, Rangers is not a bad market at all. The only thing that kind of sucks is he's not playing against um, Matthews or McDavid all year, so we don't get to see him. But Rangers are a big enough team, big enough market, so... I mean, some of the some of the balls in there, I remember was like LA prospects. Yeah, we need Byfield to start doing something. Matthews, like playing and doing something. Matthews portraits for the Leafs. We got a young guns, Martin Cott for the Avalanche. It's kind of funny. This year is hyped up. I know it's still early, but this year is hyped up so crazy, and we could have pretty much asked for a worse start. Brad Marchand for the Boston Bruins. Like, Lafreniere's got, what, one point? I don't know if he got a point tonight. But one point so far. Byfield's not playing. Stutzel's done okay. Kaprizov is the only great one, and he's on Minnesota. I am very curious about the Penguins fan base when uh, Crosby leaves or retires. Um... If Matthews went to Boston, I, see, that's also an interesting one because you're going to a team that people hate. Shane Bowers for the Avalanche. So I feel like all your Toronto sellers are going to naturally want to get rid of their cards. Boston has a massive fan base, but they're not notorious for spending a lot of money on their cards. Brock Nelson for the Islanders. So that would be an interesting one. LA cures everything, yeah. Kyle Connor Dazzlers for the Jets. LA is not a bad market. They actually are a pretty damn good market. So they'd burn his jersey. Yeah. Canvas of Duchesne for the Preds. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what happened. Carlson Young Guns for the Hawks. Go Ducks. We've got base. And Ryan, it's been a while since I've seen uh, seen your name, by the way. How you doing? Portraits of Ovechkin for the Caps. Mikey Anderson for the LA Kings, Young Guns. Yeah, if we got three left in chronology, let's get that going, folks. Canvas of Seth Jones for the Jackets. Yeah, I didn't like that, Ryan. I'm not going to lie. Actually, I hated that. We got a Max Domi for the Habs. Like, don't get me wrong. If Toronto got Lafreniere, I would have been thrilled. But I think that's the stupidest thing to why Toronto would even be remotely involved in that. Like, I, I just, like, I don't know. I think it was dumb. Hark it! Young Guns for the Jets. I think Velarde is going to be really good. Portrait of Liam Foodie for the Jackets. I don't think he'll be your best one, but I definitely think he's got a very bright future. Base. Canvas of Schwartz for the Blues. And speaking of young guns, Lafreniere. Lafreniere young guns. Sick. Where we got the Rangers, congrats. I recommend getting graded as usual. Yeah, the Shane, I don't know about the... It's funny how people talk about that. The, they technically made it, they technically did not. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that. I, I feel like the whole thing was playoffs. If you're going to label it playoffs, it's playoffs. Like, 
Because if you're not labeling it, then, the, then like, for example, and I might be wrong in this, guys, but, like, Montreal, I thought, lost in the second round, technically, right? So did Montreal technically not win any rounds at all? Like, I feel like that's wrong. They, they did win. You still are, Of course I do. I'm very good with our, uh, our members, Ryan. I am very, very good with names. But I absolutely remember your name. I don't know why. Maybe maybe it's a bad reason I remember your name. No, I'm just joking. We've got a dual rookie jersey of Korshkov. Korshkov. Five and nine. I I look at it as a, like a playoff to me is just anything in the in like what they were doing. They were doing playoffs, so. For the Penguins, a 65 Latang jersey patch. Chris Latang. Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, I don't think Texier is going to move much. I think Columbus is kind of uh, a dead zone-ish. 75, Vancouver Canucks, Daniel Sedin. So that's my first personal opinion. I think he's a phenomenal talent, though. Rookie Redemption, Buffalo Sabres. I just feel certain teams, certain players are just never going to get the appropriate love that they deserve. And I feel like Texier will be one of them. Double pack, 3-9 of Carlson for the Sharks. And a Sagan Remnants for the Dallas Stars. <laughs> We've got an Orum of Brady Kachuk for the Sens. Yeah, you know, that's a good comparison. That's a good comparison for, ta for Velarde. And a 299 Jonathan Quick, LA Kings. And a 499 Roman Yossi for the Preds. Uh, that, Max, I agree with you tenfold on that. My God, Barkov alone. How is that? That guy should be so much more hyped up than he is. That blows my mind. That guy gets no love in the hobby. For how talented Barkov is, it's crazy. Absolutely nuts. We've got for the Blues, Mackenzie McEachern. He's got five points so far. Oh, my God. What's the score in that game? For the Blue Jackets, Cole Sherwood. You missed seeing Brad, yeah. One goal, four assists. Oh, my God. Well, we just absolutely hit a monster. Numbered one of ten. Black Introductions Rookie Auto. Avalanche, Kale McCarr. That is a, yeah, that's a big boy. Wow. Well, Avalanche, holy jeez. We've got for the Chicago Blackhawks, Alex Debrinket. <laughs> Thoughts on him? We're just waiting, Jason. We're just waiting. I think Makar is going to be one of the best uh, defensemen of our generation. That's my opinion on him. All right. Let's go something cool. I'll take that as something cool. We've got numbered one of ten silver sticks for the Maple Leafs, Norm Allman. Silver sticks, Norm Allman. 
There we go. 